So, you just got the new Proteus Builder and you want to know everything about it. Let's start with what's in the box. First you'll see your pre-assembled Proteus Builder. This includes the ergonomic shell and the controller inside. You'll also find a charging cable and your wireless dongle and two spare arc caps. Yours may look slightly different depending on the collection you have. Let's start with using your Proteus controller while it's already in the shell. First, get your dongle and plug it into your device. Then power on the controller. You power on the controller by pressing the white button on the power cube. Once it powers on, the power cube will automatically start looking for the dongle. While it's looking for the dongle, you'll see white pulsing LEDs. Once it finds the dongle, it will go solid blue. You'll also see this on the Xbox peripheral. When it connects, go solid white. When you see these things, you're connected and you're ready to go. To charge your controller, you simply connect the USB cable into the charger that's already pre-assembled onto your controller. If it's not assembled, just attach it and plug it into a power source. The charger and the cable are also used to connect to the software. To safely remove your controller from the shell, just push down on both sides and release. From here, you can start disassembling and rebuilding your controller into different configurations. So that's the very basic of using your Proteus Builder. Now here's a rundown of all the other features you can get into if you want to keep exploring. The Proteus Builder starts up in GIP mode, aka controller mode. So when you turn it on for the first time, it's just going to work like a normal Xbox controller. If you want your controller to read in like a keyboard, then switch it to HID mode using the Proteus software. This is really helpful when you want to use your controller in place of a keyboard, like alongside a mouse, for example. In HID mode, you can also assign simple macros to your buttons or complex macros, which include timing. Depending on the game you're playing, you might want to remap your buttons or change your analog stick direction. So what's the best way to use your Proteus Builder? Well, it's really up to you. That's how it works. It's a modular controller and you can adapt it to the way that you want to play. If you're using it without a mouse, we recommend using it with simple games like platformers as you're limited to certain buttons. If you want to get a little bit more complicated, pair it with a mouse on PC and use it in place of a keyboard. If you're looking to add extra peripherals or modules, make sure you check out our website to continue upgrading your controller. If you ever have questions or want to get connected with the community, make sure you join our Discord server. 